Okay, today we're going to retin and resolder an over voltage protection relay. Uh, these came on tons of Mercedes up until like 97, 98. Uh, a lot of the cars used them back into the 80s. Um, but earlier, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is one off of an older car uh, that was done a few years ago. Uh, I didn't end up needing the replacement. Um, but you can see that some of them are a bitch to get out of there. Um, you, you pop the little fuse cap off the top, there's a little plastic cap here, and there's a fuse under there. Pull the fuse out, um, see these are like the same type of thing, a little bit different. Uh, this is a different part number, this was from an E300 I think, um, and this is from my R129. And one of the first problems I noticed with this thing when I pull it out, I'm having a little bit of a shaky idle. And one of the pins is a little bit corroded, which tells me there might not be getting power be getting through there. Um, but anyway, uh, some of these pull right out. You pull the fuse off and reach to the bottom. There's two little tabs. Bend them over on the metal case, and then you can just grab the center pin with a pair of uh, pliers and pull it straight out. A lot of them, if they're corroded, uh, they're really, really hard to get out of here. You're going to have to semi-destroy the, uh, the case. Now these things are only like a hundred bucks each. Um, I'm not advocating going and, and you know doing surgery on one of these things for a hundred bucks, you know, to, to save a hundred bucks. But hey, if you don't have a hundred bucks, you don't have a hundred bucks. Um, like I said, I can just go buy another one. It's not really a big deal. But um, I'm going to show you how to retin one of these things. If uh, maybe a hundred dollars is a big deal for you, or maybe you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and you just need to fix this sucker to get home. Um, in that case destroy this case as little as possible you're going to try and bend it out around the plastic and it's still going to be tough but you're just going to have to grab this and wiggle the whole thing out just pull it straight out this way straight out the bottom and you have to pull the fuse off first um, but anyway we're going to uh, keep working on this and slide it eventually slide this out okay so now got the relay out of here and we can take a look closer at the circuits. They're a little bit, yeah, not that big a deal. I'm going to retin them anyway, just for the hell of it. I've seen some of these that are just caked in rust inside. But uh, that's this one, and this is the, the other older one that I had. That was uh, the solder, and that was retinned a couple of years ago. Um, and it's just been sitting around in case I ever need one again. And uh, just a, a reminder, when you go to put this thing back together, when you go to shove it in, there's a little plastic card in there, a little plastic sleeve that protects the circuit board from connecting the side of the case. And you just line up the, uh, the tabs. On the top, that's where the fuse goes, connects between there and there. And then you just you'll shove it back in the same way and make sure this plastic thing's on it. But anyway, I'm going to uh, I'm going to retin these fuses. I'll show you that in two seconds. Okay, so once we're going to retin it, we just got a soldering iron right here with a sharp tip. And all you're going to do is touch the soldering iron to each one of the electrical contacts. Let the solder pool up, liquefy and then reform. That's all you have to do. Don't spread it between the contacts where they're not spread before. You don't make your own new contacts across two of them, but you know, all you're doing is remelting them because in case there's a, over the years solder can, if there's an impurity in it or something, it can break and crack and get a uh, micro cracks that don't uh, flow the electricity properly across them. All we're doing is remelting them and letting them form again. We'll do every one of them like that. Again, it's not terribly hard and it doesn't take a long time. That's about it. All those contacts have been redone. I just got to clean up the bottom 
and I'm going to stick it back in and make sure it's all working properly. And uh, that's it for retinning any any uh, any relay or electrical uh, component, you know, electrical switches and stuff like that. Need this stuff done with. Once in a while, they can, like I said, they can easily fail. Solder can fail over years. Just simply repooling it will make it connect, reconnect the old connection. And I think I got them all. Make sure there's no dead spots. You can also put a magnifying glass on it, you can see cracks. But, um, Anyway, that's about it. Um, did the same thing, like I said, did the same thing on this old one years ago. Just retinned the contact, same exact way. You know, Volvo fuel, old Volvo fuel pumps used to, they had the relays like this that you had to do them every couple of years. Or else you'd just buy a new relay, new $200 relay every couple of years. Just doing this would always fix them. Anyway, you get the gist of what I'm doing. And that's about it. We're going to slide the thing back in. Slide it back into its case with the plastic, uh, oh, wrong one, this one. So I'm just going to clean that up with some electrical contact cleaner and a toothbrush to get that. Uh, gumminess off of there and uh, that's about it thanks for watching okay so now it's all back together I'm going to uh, just bend these tabs back over to, to hold the aluminum case back on and then I'm going to run a bead of silicone clear silicone or just automotive sealant along there so no water gets up under there and then obviously pop the fuse back in and throw it in the car and see how that works um, that's about all I can tell you. Thanks for watching.